and welcome back to my channel so I know I'm a little bit close to the camera right now but that was because one of you guys said in my last tutorial that you wanted me to be a little bit closer and I actually really agree on that I feel like when I'm doing a tutorial I really want you guys to see what I'm doing closer so I'm a little bit closer today so hope that's nice so for today I'm actually doing a pretty not random but a little bit random video because this was just a look that just came to me and I just need to show you guys it's like so simple it's probably something you've seen before like something close to it but i just love the way this makeup look looks and this is actually makeup look that will look good on absolutely everyone if you're super fair if you're super dark i think you will rock this look no matter what and it's so simple actually not too many products uh, but i just wanted to do like a glowy look one day and i just did this and i was like i love this and i think if i didn't do youtube videos and but just loved makeup i think this would be a look that i would do all the time so like an everyday makeup look i guess so without rambling like crazy i think we could just go ahead and get started so i'm going to start with a primer and i'm using the becca backlight priming filter uh, primer and i've had this for like a couple of months and i didn't really know what what i thought about it because in the beginning i thought that it was it was nice, it gave me a nice glow, but I kind of felt like it made my pores look kind of big. When I did it with the foundation that I'm going to show you guys right now, it did not look like my pores were big. So I really, really like this primer. As you can see, it gives me a very nice glow. So the foundation combination I'm going to use today is the new uh, Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation. I did a first impression on this foundation. I can link it down below and also on the screen right now. But I just ended up falling in love with this foundation and I've used it a lot of times since then and it just gets better and better. I love it. It is so freaking great. So this one is just amazing in keeping my oils in control but I want a little bit of that glow as well. So I'm going to go in with the Luminous Silk Foundation as well. So both of these mixed together is what I've been using the last couple of days and it's just been an amazing combination. These two together is just match made in heaven and something else that i'm going to do is actually to mix in a, a glowy glowy liquid product <laughs> so i normally like to use this one from becca this is their shimmering skin perfector and this is in the color champagne pop this is so good i love this liquid one also i have been using the cover effects custom enhancer drops in sunlight which is also really good but i actually prefer the becca one so i just like to take like a half pump to a full pump so not a full pump but almost you know so as you can see I have to blend these out and I'm gonna do that and just make a little cocktail on my hand right here and actually I'm using a new Soeva brush this is the fluid arch never tried it for foundation before but seems like it could be nice By the way, I'm so glad that you guys liked my new setup. I got so many nice com compliments about my background. I'm so happy that you guys like it too because I love it. So Then for concealer, I'm going to use my favorite. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. I use the color Light in this one and this is just so good. I love that you get so much product on the brush. So I have not dipped into this one more than one time and as you can see, so good so I'm also going to use a tiny bit places that I know I get a little bit of red and also I'm not going to use the eyeshadow primer today because this is a super easy look I'm just going to use concealer Then to highlight my skin a little bit with concealer, I'm going to go in with one of my other favorites, MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost. This is a highlight pen, if I can open it. <laughs> and I just love this highlight pen. I don't like to use too much anymore. I used to use a shitload, but now I just like to do it kind of more natural. And I'm just gonna blend it in with a brush. Normally I would use my beauty blender right now, but I'm too lazy to go and get it because it's to like go down to my room and I'm just not keen on doing that right now. So 
Just using a brush. And something that I absolutely love to do when I want to do a glowy, bronzy look is going in with my Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel Bronzing Makeup Base. As you can see, I've used so much of this, but I love it so much. So I'm going to go in with this, and I'm going to use the Suiva Petite Define Buffer. These Suiva brushes are new, by the way, and they're so good. So I'm just going to kind of contour, kind of bronze. It's kind of more of a bronzy shade. And right now I look like a greasy hot dog and I don't want to look like a greasy hot dog. So I'm just going to set my face with this inside translucent loose powder. This is not too mattifying so I'm going to use this all over my skin and also underneath my eyes. But surprise surprise I'm not going to bake today. I've actually not been baking the last couple of days when I'm doing like a natural makeup look. And I actually really like it. So I thought I could never stop baking. But I haven't actually been doing it the last couple of days. And I actually really like it. So I'm just going in with a brush and some powder just to set the, these under eyes like my concealer always creases on me so i really need to set it and because i really like to have a little bit of this glow but not all of it because it looks a little bit too much i'm just going to set the places that i want to so not my entire face but like a light layer almost all over and also i'm going to use some bronzer stuff like that right here so i'm going to set this area because then last it will look very patchy so now just to set that highlight that i use the mac light boost pen i'm going to go in with my young blood it looks really dirty this gets really dirty really quickly or i feel like all my contour kits always look so dirty but this is the young blood contour kit and i'm just going to use a mix of the two lightest highlight colors just to really lightly set my under eyes just to brighten it up a tiny bit I'm also going to use this contour kit to contour, obviously. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with this Urban Decay Contour Definition Brush and go in with the medium color in the middle right here. You don't want to go crazy in this look because then it will look very unnatural. So then I'm going to go in with my bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer. This is Glow Mineral Sunkiss. It's so beautiful. I love this one just to get a little bit of glow to my skin. This one is just so beautiful. It's like a must have. So this one I just kind of take a little bit all over. But as you can see, I do focus it in the like edges of my face, you know. I feel like if you apply too much bronzer in the center of your face, you end up looking kind of dirty. Then I'm going to go in with a blush. This is a new blush from YSL. This is in the uh, street, the street and I collection and this is I have a blush on you blush and this is so pretty. Just look at that beautiful color like that is beautiful like that is probably one of the prettiest colors I know about like these like really nice orangey apricot peachy colors are so pretty. So for that I'm just going to use another Urban Decay brush. This is the Diffused Blush brush. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit of blush. I don't want to use too much because then I will look like a clown and I don't want to look like a clown. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this one right here. And this one just really makes the look. I really think blush is important because it just makes you look healthy. And it's kind of the look that we're going for today. This is something that you can totally wear to work, to school. You can even use this to a party. So this is like, I feel like the most versatile makeup look ever. <laughs> and then for highlight, this is the most amazing part, my, my favorite part. And I'm going to mix my favorite uh, highlight ever. This is Champagne Pop from Becca. I love this one. But I also really like the, uh, this is from the Jaclyn Hill Split Pants. Um, thing and this is the Prosecco pop and this one also comes with a blush but I felt like the other YSL blush kind of worked better with this look so I, I'm just gonna use this one today this is more of a gold so I'm gonna mix champagne pop this one and a little bit of the Prosecco pop just to get a little bit more golden so I am just going to spray my brush. I'm actually going to use the same brush that I use, the e.l.f. brush. I love that one. Spray my brush with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. These two highlighters mixed together might be the prettiest highlighter. Oh, so good. I love it. It kind of reminds me of um, 
Laura Geller Gilded Honey, like this combination. And as I always do, I always like to apply a little bit of highlight right on the apples of my cheeks because as, as you can see right now, when I smile, it looks really like healthy and beautiful. I'm just gonna use a little bit down my nose. What do I keep it for? And that's it for the skin, not for the whole entire look. <laughs> the next thing is one of the most important things and that is to go in with MAC Fix Plus just to set the whole look and I just feel like it looks so much better once I do this. I'm just going to go in with MAC Fix Plus and take a shower. Mm. I wish MAC came out with these scented Fix Plus again because the coconut one smells so good. And now I'm just going to do my brows and I'm using my normal combination which is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. I'm just going to do the same thing as I always do pretty much. So next thing I'm going to do is just a light contour on my eyes just to get some definition there. I'm just going to use the contour kit. This is just a nice trick that I always do when I have not that, when I just want to do something quick. I just go in with a contour kit. So I'm just going to use the lightest color just to set the concealer. Then I'm just going to go in with this color and then a little bit of this color. So first the medium brown, just lightly in my the crease of my eye I'm using. E35 from Sigma. I don't really know if I like this one. I love the E25 and the E40 from Sigma, but I just, I don't really know if I get this one, but I guess it works, but. Then I'm just gonna take the darker brown, just to define it a little bit more. I feel like this just kind of ties the whole look together. I'm just gonna mix the colors and just use them underneath my eyes as well. Then on the eyelid, I'm going to use Champagne Pop and Mix Prosecco Pop. The mix together on a flat definer brush. Definer brush, is it called that? I don't know. Just gonna pop that on my eyelid. This is just so simple because as you can see, I'm not using any eyeshadows. I'm just using uh, bronzers and highlights. And it works just as nice on the eyes as it does on the face. It's just super easy to use, like so. Like a contour kit is like so multitasking. Like you can really multitask with like a contour palette. And don't forget your inner corners. Then I'm going to go in with the MAC Fascinating Eye Coal, the white eyeliner on my waterline. For mascara, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I love this one on my lower lashes. It just really works nice. Then for lashes, I'm going to go in with uh, Duff Lashes. These are twiggy, I think. I think these are twiggy. And I love these lashes. They're so good. I've had them for a while and they really do last really, really long. So I'm gonna apply these on my eyes. The only thing that annoys me with these lashes is that definitely in camera, you can kind of see the shadow of them. I don't like that, but it doesn't look like that in real life. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait with uh, the lash glue to dry, but I'm gonna do my uh, lips. So for lip liner, I'm going to use the Shiseido lip liner in 702. This one. This is like a nude, cool tone pink color. I really like it. And then I'm going to go in with my NARS lipstick in the color Raquel. And I haven't used lipsticks in so long. So this is actually one of my favorite lipsticks. It's so pretty. It's like a perfect nude. At the same time, it's kind of like a unique nude. So for lip gloss, I'm going to use the MAC and Maria Carey lip gloss in the color Dream Lover. I love this one. It just gives me such like glossy lips. Can you see that? 
So that guys is it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it and if you like this makeup tutorial then give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!